in Surrey. Bill's an accountant. Susan made that beautiful dress herself, sewed on every sequin. <laughs> the dress fits Bill perfectly. Uh, the, uh, the guys that did the announcement on that are now the announcers on uh, golf. You know, the very kind of quiet, <laughs> sedate. Uh, <laughs> Tiger is wearing very tight trousers. And, uh, Designed them himself. You can uh, clearly see the shape of his wood there. The, uh, the thing. Anyway, dancing is what I'm talking about, or or was at a certain point a month ago. But anyway, no, dance, dancing, dancing's in my blood. I was born to dance. I yes, I remember. I actually remember my first school dance, which was uh, I was about 12 years old. And the big fashion at the time was to wear a, a zipper. They were called zippers. It was like a, a, like a, a Letterman sweater with a zip on it. Um, not like a David Letterman sweater. I, could, <laughs> I, I couldn't afford one of those. Uh, they're made out of gold and uranium and everything. <laughs> no, this, this was like, it's a sweater. Anyway, for this dance, my mother made this zipper sweater for me. But it, it was, this is absolutely true, but it wasn't ready in time. This is one of the tragic stories of my childhood. So I was thankfully not to chortle. I, I, was, I was going to the school dance and I was late because my mother was still working on the sweater. And when I arrived, Janice Berry, who was meant to be my girlfriend, was slow dancing with David Graham. I know, rubbing against his store-bought sweater. That is the first time I remember wanting to set another man's hair on fire. <laughs> Not the last, though. Uh, anyway, the Scottish school dance, we didn't have uh, fancy decorations, you know, or uh, the fog machine or anything. If we wanted fog, we'd just open the doors and it, and it would come. And all the creatures from the moors would come in, warlocks, trolls, centaurs would come. It's like, it's like Narnia over there. With, <laughs> like Narnia without the talking beavers. You want... <laughs> the beaver... <laughs> the beavers don't stop. The beavers, the beavers don't talk in Scotland. They're, they're surly. <laughs> you people are filthy. Stop it. Anyway. My dancing is actually, you'd say, it's very popular in Scotland amongst the humans. And my, it is though, my parents actually met at a dance in 1953. They met on the 18th of February, my parents, at the dancing. Dancing was very popular. It started in the 40s. Uh, you know, Friday and Saturday nights, the dancing became very popular in Glasgow and all across Scotland because the American GIs were, were there during the war and they liked to go with the dancing, Benny Goodman and... Uh, Glenn Miller and stuff, and the girls would go to meet the American GIs because they had nice teeth and chewing gum. And <laughs> Actually, if you're, if you're visiting Scotland and you want to get lucky, have nice teeth and take chewing gum. You'll be good. <laughs> Actually, you really just need chewing gum. It's like, whoa, chewing gum! Whoa! Whoa, that's exciting! <laughs> Anyway, there's a traditional Scottish dance that you do called the Cayley, which is an old Gaelic word for, you know, getting jiggy with it or something. And we had dances called the Dashing White Sergeant, uh, you know, or the Gay Gordons. That was another one. It's true, Gay Gordons. Back then, back then, gay meant, you know, rough, tough, looking fabulous in a uniform. That's what it meant. Pretty much what it means today, anyway. I like those dances because they have rules. I like to learn a dance and then do it. I don't like the freeform dancing, you know, the... <laughs> I will do that. Yeah. <laughs> and dancing and alcohol shouldn't mix. You shouldn't mix the two in night. You shouldn't. They should have disclaimers on alcohol in nightclubs. You know, caution, Jägermeister may cause you to wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> yeah. Side effects may include partying like it's 1999 and herpes. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, the, the Dancing with the Stars uh, show, which I think I'm talking about here, is, I'm not sure because of the judging, but if you're not dancing, if you're at a dance and you're not dancing, you are usually judging, you know, well, laughing at people who are dancing. 
the first season of Dancing with the Stars, there was a big controversy, or controversy, or however you want to say it. And <laughs> because they didn't know who'd really won, and they had a dance-off. Oh, I love a good dance-off. You know that? <laughs> We should settle all our disputes through dancing. You know, the George W. Bush versus the Iranian president in, in a dance-off. You know, that's how we'll do it. That's... See? America has spoken. <laughs> we want weapons or weapons-grade plutonium. You can't have a weapons-grade plutonium. You know, the whole, the whole dance craze in America, though, can be ta traced back to John Travolta. That's who started it. Saturday Night Fever, Grease, all these things. Everybody loved... Now, it was amazing to me that John Travolta, a big, strapping, red-blooded, straight man, could pull off all that dancing. <laughs> how, how could a man like that be so light and on his feet? I don't understand. Do we have a picture of Travolta? Look, uh, there he is. Uh... <laughs> That's not fair. That's, uh, he's doing a musical, and that's not fair. It's, uh, do we have a more recent picture of Travolta? Oh, yeah, there he is. All right. Worldwide Pants.